Hey guys, so last night I went and saw finally the BFG. Um, I, today is actually my birthday, um, so happy birthday to me. Eh. Um, and uh, what a way to celebrate my birthday, turning 28 and going to see a kid's movie at 10 o'clock at night. Oh yeah, I did. Um, in an empty theater. <laughs> um, I was, for some freaking reason, my movie theater just decided to put this in the largest auditorium so there you know you have all these big or this big auditorium of all these seats and i'm the only one in there and it, man oh man <laughs> I, I i i haven't felt this uh felt that awkward since i saw like the same thing happen when i saw claudia chance of meatballs too but that was like in the afternoon for fuck's sake uh and that still was like I was the only one in there, uh, weirdly enough. Um, I knew going in that this was going to probably have nobody in the th movie theater because, well, if you haven't heard or uh, seen uh, any news reports as of late, this has been a big box office bomb, uh, one of the biggest for Spielberg, um, which I was very shocked by because... From the trailers and everything else, this looked like a decent little film. And I, like, I know people that love the story of BFG and love Roald Dahl, um, love Spielberg like I do. Um, you know, this looked like a movie that fit Spielberg easily. I never read the book. Um, I know who Roald Dahl is. I've, you know, I've read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and know of that and Matilda and all that stuff like that. And know that he comes up with some really creative stories. Um, and I remember seeing the BFG, the book, uh, around a lot, you know, but just never got around to reading it when I was a kid. Um, and like I said, the trailers looked fine. It looked like Spielberg, this was a passion project of his that he had been wanting to do for years. Uh, you know, I got like a behind the scenes feature on this film. And like I said, it, you know, everything about this movie looked fine for me. Um, and you know what? This... <laughs> this was a this was a pretty goddamn good film. I didn't regret watching this. Um, it was an enjoyable sit. Uh, I don't understand why this movie is making more money than fucking or less money than fucking Tarzan. Really, fucking really. Uh, when Tarzan's a piece of shit, and this is actually a pretty good movie, a pretty damn good movie. Um, that bothers the hell out of me. Um, why are you? parents taking their kids to see Tarzan and not this is beyond me but that's another that's a debate for another day um Mark Rylance is great as uh, the BFG my god like he brings a lot of personality to that character and like the computer or the, the motion capture done I've mentioned this in the trailers and when I saw the trailers, but I, I gotta say this again, the motion capture done on him is really, really well done. Uh, it, a lot of, you know, work went into, you know, making him look, I mean, he does look like a CGI character, but they definitely, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it definitely looks like a CGI giant, but he, Definitely, uh, I, I gotta give them props on how they made him look like the giant look like Mark Rylance. It had like not since like the Hulk and like the Avengers movies has uh, I've seen a motion capture done this well, um, and or even the fucking the recent Planet of the Apes movies. Um, the motion capture was done really well in this, and like Mark Rylance definitely brings the personality to this character. These kind of a lovable character like you get like he's easy like he's kind of dumb um because like he has a lot of broken english uh like that's something that took a lot getting used to i'll say that uh is the broken english throughout this whole film which i knew you know, as the movie was going i was like okay i bet this is like the book like how the book how they talk in the book and they i to get to this movie's credit, they give an explanation as to why he speaks all this broken English, because he's never been really taught how to speak English. So, I mean, that makes sense to me. I mean, I was like, alright, that makes sense in this kind of world. Um, but, it, like I said, it got a little getting used to. And, like, hell, even the movie 
at first was kind of like it was slow to get going for me and but it once it got going it, it, it definitely got going um i said mark rylance i thought the little girl was fine uh she definitely <laughs> was pretty good and like likable not annoying um she was pretty decent in this film i liked her a lot and uh you know her chemistry with uh, mark rylance or the bfg was was really charming man I mean, like the movie. The movie overall was just a very charming, cute little film uh, of a kids' movie. Um, what else? Uh, the just the imagery in this goddamn movie is fucking stunning. Like, oh good god! Like, I recommend seeing this in three D. I, I I I would definitely recommend not seeing anything like seeing this in two D. See this in three D because. The imagery in this movie, like, just pops out with the 3D. My God, like, the dream, when they go to the dream world and everything else, like, it's just stunning. Like, I just sat there, like, with my mouth agape, like, watching some of this stuff in this movie, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, it's just, just stunned by it. Like, a lot of it is, like, computer-generated uh, scenery. Yes, I know that. But also, there is a lot of, like, uh, practical sets like uh, I have seen like the uh, the making of the movie and they used a lot of practical sets and, and the practical sets looked really impressive uh, when they were used and stuff like that and uh, even like I said the computer generated imagery was really well done um, it, it, like and the rest of the giants were okay or they look like your typical movie giants that you've seen, seen nowadays but they were you know and they were fine. Um, <laughs> I thought this movie got a little, uh, it, you know, this movie, you know, has has a really vast, wild world in it. And when the movie kind of started to get me, like, like just have me throw my hands up and go, whatever. Uh, like, just, like, I, it maybe even, like, accept the fact that later on in the movie, they can had the Queen of England uh, involved. That was weird. That whole storyline was weird with the Queen of England. Um, I know that's probably part of the book, but I'm like, what the hell? Like, and they're having her, she's having the British militia go out to the giant country to fight all these giants. I'm like, okay. This movie's getting a little weird, but like, I, I went along with it. <laughs> um, because I was, you know, by that point, I was in to the movie enough that I was like, alright, I'll buy it, fuck it. <laughs> like, there's giants roaming around, this is the same world where giants are roaming around London stealing kids and stuff like that in the middle of the night and just you know, casually walking through the streets of London. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was like, I'll buy it, fuck it. I like it's like it's like it's not it doesn't seem far fetched. Also has a scene where Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, uh, there's this whole joke about this drink that uh, BFG drinks it, where the bubbles go down instead of up, like, you know, how all you know, like all our sodas and everything else have bubbles that go up. Instead, they go down. And because of that, it makes people fart, like, really badly. And so the BFG gives... The Queen of England and the rest of her servants, uh, this drink, and of course, you know, it was kind of funny to see the Queen of England blow, uh, fart and everything else, and then including her, her dogs, her assistants. I go, oh, Jesus, like uh, that was like that was the payoff to that joke, and I'm like, oh Jesus, like for a Spielberg movie, I like like I I actually cracked up. The Spielberg had mentioned this was the first time he'd ever put a fart joke in his movie. I don't know if that's true or not. I, I mean, I almost have a hard time believing that, but, eh, whatever. Um, which, it's kind of funny. Like, alright, why not? It was fine for what it, like, I said, it, like, it wasn't like a lot of kids' movies where they, this movie was all fart jokes and that's it. But, this movie had just, a couple, and they kind of worked. They were kind of funny. Maybe they chuckled. Maybe they got a chuckle out of me. Let's put that scene with the Queen of England got a chuckle out of me, definitely. Um, but yeah, this movie's harmless. I, I don't understand how the hell 
this is getting like nobody's seeing this whatsoever like out of the kids movies that parents take your kids to see really this is the one you decide this is not good for kids or kids are really not wanting to see this I, I, I don't know it's weird that like this proves that like Spielberg doesn't can't sell a movie just by himself um, e even if it's a fucking roll doll classic novel I, I mean I, I'm very shocked like it's very shocked that this movie is not doing very well um, it's sad it is like we're gonna get a lot more shitty kids movies because of this probably because nobody's seeing this and this is a pretty good quality kids movie and instead kid, parents are taking their kids to like a lot like fuck I think Angry Birds did a lot better than this god damn it I, I, that pisses me off um, but yeah, that's just like I said. I'm getting on a rant on, about that. Go see BFG. Go support it. Uh, it's definitely a decent little um, kids movie. That it's it's pretty well done. Um, as far as trailers go, I got the new trailer for Trolls. Um, nah, <laughs> it's one of those. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know what to say about this. It's. You know, it's based off those little troll dolls that everybody had when they were little. And they made a whole universe based off these things. And it's like, they're, they're a bunch of trolls that live in this little community that keeps being terrorized by this big giant monster that eats them. Um, also, that's one thing I want to talk about with the BFG. I heard one of the biggest complaints is that uh, this was... The, the books had like a more darker element to them um, I can kind of tell watching this movie that this movie did this book probably did, did have a lot more darker elements to it um, and they kind of hint at it throughout the movie like like uh, BFG at one point had a another little boy that lived with him that apparently got eaten by the giants so um, yeah that happened I'm like wow um, and, and the whole story of this movie is them trying to save him trying to save this little girl from being eaten by these giants and stuff like that. All right, <laughs> um, it's I mean yeah, it, it's it's a, it has some dark elements for a kids movie and like going back to trolls, this is kind of the same thing. Like there's a monster trying to eat all these trolls or something like that, kidnapping the trolls and trying to eat them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's got like Justin Timberlake, Anna Kendrick uh, as the main uh, trolls in this movie, uh, voicing the main trolls in this movie. I don't know. It, it doesn't look horrible, but I've seen worse. I remember one part of the joke of the movie is where a fucking uh, a troll scared and it poops cupcakes. Yeah, <laughs> that's a joke in this movie. Um... In the, another trailer I got, last trailer I got was Sing. Um, apparently, uh, Illumina Illumination Entertainment is making a music or animated musical with a bunch of animals singing at a karaoke contest or something. I don't fucking know. Like what? <laughs> this is like why? This is the, it looks the, it looks kind of stupid, but whatever. Maybe it'll be good. If we'll, watch it'll actually be a pretty decent film. I don't know. Um, it's one of those things, it's like, it's probably not going to be my, my cup of tea, but we'll see. Uh, that's as far as trailers go. I'll be back, uh, later this week, uh, what the hell is this week? Uh, Mike and Dave need wedding dates, and, what the hell was, it? oh, uh, Secret Life of Pets. And until then, I'll talk to you guys later.